Welcome to a new lesson. So in this one, we are going to see a couple of objects. The first one we are going to see is the print object. So print. So how do we create the print object? Well, like for every new object that we want to create in Max, we do like this. We first create an empty object with N, as we said in the previous videos, and then we write inside the object the name of the object we want to create, which in this case is print. So what does the print object do? Well, it basically just prints stuff to the console. So this is our max console, and we can print whatever we want to the console using the print object. For example, if I create an integer number box with i, so by simply pressing i on my keyboard and then connect it to the print object, uh, if I lock the patch and start to mess around with the integer number box, you can see that it's printing whatever number it's outputting to the console. So the number flows from the integer number box through the cable to the print object and then gets printed on the console. Now, if I hover with my mouse on the numbers printed, you can see that the print object gets highlighted and shows us actually that it was it that printed those numbers. If I want to clear the console, so I want to erase the, the content of the console, I just have to press this cross here down on the right bottom and where it's written clear all and it's going to clear it all. Great. So this is the print object. Now I want to show you another object which is very fundamental in Max, which is called the button object. And the button object is actually a graphical user interface object, so we can find it up in our top left bar. And I just drag and drop it with my patch unlocked, and there it is, this is the button object. So we can create the button object like this, just by dragging it and drop it from, the, from this bar, or we can just create a new empty object right inside button, and then it appears. But we also got another way, which is to use a shortcut. So as we saw in the previous lessons, the most used objects in Max, they often have a shortcut to be created. And the button object is not exception. So if I press B on my keyboard, this is going to create a new button object. In fact, if you try to press B with the patch unlocked, it's going to create a new button object. Great. So I can press B all the way around and create a lot of button objects. Now the button objects is also sometimes called the bang object by myself in the first place. And that's because what it does is that it outputs the word bang. And in Max, a word is actually called a symbol. So it outputs the symbol bang. Now we didn't see yet what a, what a symbol is in Max and we're going to do that soon. Uh, but for the moment, just remember that a symbol is simply like a word that can be composed of letters, numbers, letter and numbers and other characters. But it's not just numbers and it's not multiple words. It's just a single word. So a symbol, it's basically a single word. And what the bang and the button object exactly outputs the symbol or the word bang. For example, if we connect this to the print object now, I lock the patch and I click on this button object, you can see that it highlights and it's printing on the console the word bang. And bang is a special word in Max that is understood by most objects. And what it does is that it triggers them to output the result of their internal calculation. So for example, if we connect a bang to an integer box, simply like that, and I just lock the patch, click on the button, and you can see that the console is printing up a 15 because the bang, let's just call it the bang object. So the bang object is, uh, sends a bang message to the integer number box that in turn sends the number to the print object that prints it in the console. So the bang message basically means just output whatever you have inside. If you have a calculation to do, just do it and output the result. Now the integer number box doesn't make any calculation. That's why it's simply outputting the internal number. But if we will use the bang object with a plus operator, for example, let's give it a try. So if I input here the number 10 and I in the cold inlet of the plus operator and I input the number five in the hot inlet, you, as you know, it's going to give us the result of this operation, which is 15. But if now I will input the number 5 on the cold inlet, it doesn't trigger the operation because, as we saw in the previous video, only when something is input in the hot inlet, then the operation is going to be triggered. 
So in order to trigger this operation, we can also just click on the bang button. And now the bang message is telling to the plus operator, just calculate whatever you got inside. So we know that there are two variables inside the plus operator, the A and B, we call them. And in the A variable, there was still the number five. In the B variable, there, there is the number five also that we just input. And so the bang message says to the plus operator to calculate the result of this operation. So we can change whatever number we want in the cold inlet. The number that was stored in the hot inlet is always going to be five. And we can trigger the calculation also by clicking on this bang message instead of uh, changing directly the input in the hot inlet. So that's what the bang message does. We can use it, of course, also with the minus operator, basically with all the mathematical operators, and in general with mostly all objects in max. So if we will do change a couple of numbers here, if we change the number in the cold inlet, it doesn't trigger the minus operation, but once we click on the bang, then it actually triggers the minus operation. So 18 minus 23. Cool. So this is the bang message in Max. This was the button object. And in the next video, we're going to see how we can use the button object or bang object to trigger the operation on the plus operator or every other mathematical operator whenever we change the number in the cold inlet as well. So it doesn't matter if we change the number in the hot or the cold inlet, uh, we should be able to always get the result of the operation. So we will see that in the next video. So see you there. Ciao.